Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I just got back into town. I've been on my honeymoon um, and then just adjusting to living with my husband and his dog and adjusting with the cat that I already have. So um, it's been a <laughs> transition period. <laughs> It's been a transition period for all of us and I haven't been filming as much as I would have liked. I've had a lot of ideas, I've been watching a lot of videos, getting a lot of inspiration, and consequently I actually got quite a bit of new makeup in my collection recently. It's very exciting. So um, I have a big old basket next to me and this video is just going to be something kind of chill, something kind of laid back. Um, I don't really have anywhere to be. It's like 7 p.m. I'm probably going to wear this face of makeup for a couple hours and then wash it off. I just felt like filming. So, um, yeah. If you're new here, my name is Sinia. I'm uh, 25 years old. I love makeup. I really enjoy makeup. And I've been on a journey recently of choosing products to be in my makeup collection that are a little bit um, kinder to the environment, that um, come from companies that are smaller, um, that care about ethical practice with their employees, and that care about packaging that really suits the planet, that have refill options, things like that, that are a little bit better for the earth. So if any of that sounds good to you, I hope that you will consider subscribing and liking this video. So let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> oh man, I'm in a giggly mood. I've been happy recently. I guess marriage does that, huh? Alright, so I have showered and I have like some scalp care in, which is why I look all <laughs> greasy. Um, but my skincare is on, so I'm just going to start with some skin prep. I'm going to go in with this Mineral Fusion Soothing Toner with Hyaluronic Acid. I recently re-picked this up. I had this um, previously in my collection and I really liked it. And I used it up. I actually still have my old bottle that I have, like I'm using the sprayer for other things. And um, I remembered it right before my wedding and I picked up another one and I used it on my wedding day and I loved my makeup. So it just gives you like this really juicy, dewy complexion. And I really enjoy that it contains hyaluronic acid. It comes in a glass bottle. Um, so I really appreciate all of those things. Next up is this primer. So this is by Juice Beauty. This is their Phyto Pigments Illuminating Primer and I have loved this thing for almost a year. This goes off, expires in December. It's almost done so I reckon it'll be done around that same time anyways. I only have a little bit left um, but I love this product. It makes my makeup go on smoother. It softens the look of my pores a little bit even though it's illuminating it somehow doesn't accentuate my pores which I really appreciate y'all also you'll have to excuse my nails I got gel <laughs> got a gel manicure for my wedding day and I've just like it started to peel off and then I've just been like picking at it and so my nails are like half gone right now <laughs> please disregard Oh, another oldie but goodie. This is the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. I haven't been using a ton of, like, I haven't been using a ton of foundation, and I'm kind of considering not using this. I don't know if I want to go that heavy on my complexion. I have quite a few blemishes, but I'm thinking maybe I just want to do something lighter and use this Han Concealer. Um, to kind of correct. I think that's, I think I want to do that instead. Um, I actually won a giveaway. Woo! Shocking, I know. Um, <laughs> I enter tons of giveaways on Instagram and I almost never win them, but I was so pleased <laughs> to see that I won this giveaway with Han and Eco Brow, and I got my products from Han in the mail the other day, and they sent me, um, few things. I actually don't have the blush. I'm not going to be using it right now. But they sent me their blush in Coral Candy, I believe. And then um, 
a shade of their concealer and their lip gloss. And I have used their concealer and their lip gloss before. Um, over a year ago, I had both of those. The lip gloss is actually the only lip gloss I have ever owned that I have used completely up. It's that good. Um, but Han recently has done some really amazing things. They have, I'm gonna zoom you guys in. Um, they have decided to make some sustainable changes to their packaging. And all of their packaging is now made of, I think, 90% recycled plastic. And their compacts, I'll just reach over and grab the blush. <laughs> this is the blush, um, is made out of paper with a biodegradable little elastic. It's beautiful, it's beautiful change of packaging. So everything about their packaging is now recyclable, um, and I think that that's really amazing. So I have the shade Fair in the concealer, and it is quite pink. Um, the Doe Foot Applicator is one of these, let's see if it'll focus, one of these flat paddle style ones. Um, their previous one was uh, a true doe foot, like a small doe foot. So I'm just going to be applying this starting in the inner corner. And as you can see, the shade is quite peach in undertone, which I tend to like in a concealer. Because I think it brightens my complexion really nicely. So. I'm just gonna dip in and do the same thing on both eyes. And then I'm just going to tap it over some little areas that have some extra spots. I'm not going too crazy. I just want to perfect my complexion a little bit and just even everything out. I look a little crazy, but bear with me. I'm going to take this Ego Tools Airbrush Complexion brush. I don't know if when Han repackaged their products, if they also reformulated, but I do know that they added some shades um, to both their lip gloss and their concealer. I think their concealer range previously had four shades, and now it has six, which, you know, it's better, it's an improvement, we appreciate it. I really want inclusivity to be something that I strive for. I am not on the palest end of the spectrum when it comes to complexion, and I know that paleness can also be something that makes it difficult to find products that work for a person. Um, and I don't, I'm not, for example, I'm not as fair as like Hannah Louise Poston or like Khaki um, from Khaki Reviews Beauty, two of my favorite YouTubers to watch. I don't think I'm as pale as either of them. I'm a little bit darker, but not much. Um, these lights really kind of wash me out, but it's okay, we'll fix that in a bit. That's fine. Um, this concealer does crease almost in, I mean, in seconds on my eyelids. Very creamy. Um, it's not very thick, and I would call it like a like a medium coverage, light to medium. I mean, you can still see my blemishes. And I'm gonna go in with the PHB Glow Powder. This is also a sustainable company that I reached out to um, and I'm hoping that we can work together in the future because I really like some of their products that I've tried so far. I'm just going to use that glow powder and just set my eyelids. This powder has um, a bit of a yellow tinge to it. It's kind of hard to see. It looks much yellower on camera 
it's slightly less yellow and slightly more peach in person. Um, there's quite a bit of kick up in the pan, but it does have a very slight radiance to it. Nothing that is too shimmery, which I like. Um, they're product comes in paper packaging, no magnets or anything to hold it together, so it's very easy to recycle, which I really appreciate. But I'm going to go ahead and go into my Salt New York Cream Contour. That's in this giant palette. As you can see, I've loved it very hard. I've hit pan on it. My favorite way to apply this is with a EcoTools Precise Foundation Brush. I have a stray animal hair on my face and it's gonna drive me crazy. So this contour color is the best contour color for me that I've ever found. Um, I think it suits me really nicely and I found it through Kaki. Um, apparently Kiki G, the founder of Salt New York, is a friend of Kaki's and Khaki often kind of gets sent their products and gets to talk about them and review them. And I have purchased several of the Salt New York pans because of Khaki, because they look so great with her. I found Salt New York, found, heard of Salt New York through Khaki's channel and I really love her products. Um, this contour. Amazing compliment to my skin tone. I don't even know if I'm saying the right things. But I love using it and that's very evident by the amount of pan I have. So um, my love of makeup and my conviction for how much makeup I've accrued has made me decide that I want to do a year of like a low by year um, and I'm actually starting it in December so it'll be December through December of 2022 and I want to try and limit the amount of purchases that I make and make really conscious decisions about the products that I'm purchasing um, as far as like what season I would use that product in, will it go bad before like the season that I want to use that color in happens? Um, how often do I use that type of product? How many of those types of products do I already have in my collection? That sort of thing. So I'm trying to just be really conscious of, conscious of that. I think I want to use this principle palette and dip into some of these green shades so I think I'm going to keep it neutral on the cheeks and maybe like some golds to kind of help tie everything together so I'm gonna dip into this um this honest beauty cream blush and this one I think is in the shade rose pink and I'm using the same brush that I used my cream contour and I'm just going to apply it quite high on the cheeks and this is very pigmented. So Honest Beauty has also re re revamped their packaging situation. And they now have completely metal um, blush packaging. And I heard that they're going to continue rolling out sustainable packaging for their other products, which I'm so excited for because I really love their formulas. So, um... I purchased a new one of their blushes in, I think it's called Coral coral Peach or something, um, in the metal tin, and I think it's really beautiful. It feels very heavy and luxurious. And then just to make sure for myself that I was really using these blushes, I depotted this one and this red one down here, which are both Honest Beauty blushes, but they were in the old packaging. So I depotted them into my giant palettes to make sure that I got some use out of them. So everything in my complexion looks pretty good. I really have been enjoying using cream products because I feel like they just make my skin look very juicy, um, even like pre-highlighter. So I'm going to jump back to the eyes, I think, and play a little bit there. I do notice that that 
my eyelids are creasing a bit even though I set them which is a little annoying but I'm not sure if that's due to the glow powder not setting or the Han concealer just being so creamy but I will overlook it for now there's not really much to be done about it so um, okay, so with this um, company, Principal, so they reached out to me and they sent me this beautiful palette and I've been playing pretty hard in it for the past couple of months, getting to know the formula. As you can see, can you tell I've hit pan in this pink shade? So the idea behind this is that it's completely recyclable and compostable. The base of it comes out of this paper sleeve. It has all the information on the back. Um, and it slides out and the base is made of cork and it's made of cork from recycled wine bottle corks, which I think is really amazing. I think that companies need to pay more attention to, um, removing waste from the chain and reusing it for something else. So all of these wine corks would have been put to landfill and they rescued them and made them into beautiful palettes, gave them a new life. I adore that. So, um, all of the eyeshadows have um, metal pans that you can clean once they're empty, you just clean them out, recycle those, it's metal, it's infinitely recyclable, and I think their formula is pretty good. So um, they have three, one, two, and three shimmery shades, and it's hard, let's see if I can get it to focus. It's really hard to tell that they are shimmery. The sheen in them is so minimal. It's almost like a satin shadow. And so the glitter doesn't really translate that well on the eyes. It comes off like a satin eyeshadow, which satin eyeshadows have never been my speed. I either want something that is a straight up like shimmer metallic shade or something that is a completely matte eyeshadow um, but that little bit of sparkle doesn't really do it for me so the other six shades that are matte have been the ones that i've dipped into the hardest so i want to play in this green a little bit so i'm gonna take this matte green in the middle and maybe some of this really deep brown and kind of do like a little colorful smoky situation quite a bit of pigment right off the bat when you dip your brush in you get a lot of payoff so I'm just gonna tap the extra off and I'm gonna start putting that close to my eyelash just pushing that into my eye it's a pretty soft formula and the pigment is nice. It's not the most luxurious experience, but I think that somebody who is desiring to add an eyeshadow palette that really reflects their values wouldn't mind that tiny tiny bit of compromise of the fact that for example the eyeshadow palette is lightweight right so a lot of companies that make you spend a lot of money for their makeup part of the experience of that makeup is the weightiness of the compact that it's in they add weight to make it feel like a luxurious um, experience which is fine but a lot of times that's not a sustainable product so in the case of this eyeshadow palette it's a beautiful experience putting the colors on your eyes but the palette itself is not necessarily expensive to hold like it's not an expensive experience to hold the eyeshadow palette sorry my leg is falling asleep so as you can see the pigment is there 
They're a little bit choppy to blend, just a little bit. You have to work a little bit extra. I've been watching a lot of Hannah Louise Poston recently on YouTube, and I feel like she's influencing my makeup choices, and she's like influencing the way I want to film. Which is not a bad thing. So I'm just putting that middle, top middle banana shade. It's matte. I'm just kind of using that across the top of that blending line just to even everything out and hopefully create a little bit of a soft focus up there. I'll zoom you in a little bit. So I really like the shade of that green. I so I actually, I want to keep it there. I don't think I want to add any other eyeshadows to this look. I like just the simple green with the pink cheeks. I think that looks really nice. So I'm going to try out another product that's kind of new to me. This is one of the PHB Beauty products and this is their Golden Hour Highlight. So this is quite yellow. Even when I swatch it, it's quite a yellow gold. So it shears out to be a little more translucent and I'm hoping that I can make it work on my skin. I didn't realize from the photos online just how yellow Golden Hour would be. I thought that it would be a little more champagne, um, but we're gonna try and make it work. So I'm just gonna take this little setting brush, just dip in very lightly and tap it on my cheeks and pray. I almost feel like that mattified the glow that I had there. Like it dampened it a little bit. There's a tiny bit of sheen present, but I feel like my cheeks were glowier before. I feel like that dampened the glow of my cheeks. So I, I really, I don't love that. I don't know how I feel about this one yet. I think that I want to um, neutralize things a little bit by adding the Honest Beauty um, Luminizing Glow Powder in Midnight Reflection. I'm just going to kind of dust this over the center of my face. I always feel like this is one of those steps in my routine that kind of makes everything go Oh, everybody on my face is friends. Like, all the products on my face, now they all look like they're friends with each other. Everything goes together after I put this product on. That's how this makes me feel. <laughs> for my brows, because heaven knows we need to put some brows on, for my brows, I think I'm going to use the PHB Brow Powder. Yeah, the green eyeshadow, and it's nice. It's it's just a little bit patchy in some areas. I don't know if I could even zoom you in enough to show you. There's just a little bit of inconsistency in the middle and then out here. It's just a little patchy. The color is pretty and I think with my eyes open and like in a, a conversation face to face you wouldn't really be able to tell that it was patchy um, but I think it it just tends to kind of grab a little bit unevenly. The PHB brow powder. So I got this in the shade brunette um, and it looks like this. It's in the same paper with no magnet, no mirror. I'm just going to dip in and add a little bit of powder to the middle of my brows. The shade brunette is just a little bit red in my opinion. It's a little too warm for me. I like something that's a little more neutral in my brows because I, I mean I do have red in my hair but my eyebrows are pretty much just a neutral 
dark brown. And I'm not usually a brow powder girl. I don't know how much I'll use that, but I think it looks okay. The color's not a great match and my eyebrows look a little dark. Let's get something on these lips. Woo! So I want the lips to complement the cheek that I currently have, so I'm going to go with something pretty neutral. And I'm just going to line my lips first with my Mented Cosmetics Nude Lip Liner. This one is quite dark. It's more of like a brown. Um, and I don't love that it's like a twist up pencil in plastic, but they do make a really good formula. It's just a little too brown for me. A little too brown and a little too warm. So for the rest of my lips, I'm just going to use the Han Nude Rose Lip Gloss that they sent me. It has the same flat paddle style applicator as the concealer. Smells like vanilla cupcakes. A plus for the smell. Oh. I feel like my cheeks are a little bit bare, so I want to add some more blush. And I'm just going to take it all the way up. Because why not? I find that this formula agrees really nicely with powders. It doesn't clump up or stick or look weird and it adds a nice glow to my cheeks without um, staying too sticky. It has its own dry down which is really nice. So let's finish up the eyes. Perhaps my most exciting new purchase of the last month. This mascara La Bouge Rouge mascara is it's amazing this stuff is so good so if you don't know La Bouge Rouge is a French and I'm butchering the name I know I'm not French um, it's a French company that makes clean sustainably packaged makeup that is refillable beautiful um, like leather covers and like customizable engravable covers that you can purchase for your products I didn't know how I would feel about the formula so I opted to get the mascara completely naked but the amazing thing about this, and I've geeked out about this to my sister and my husband and a million people, it's in glass, right? This is glass, completely recyclable. This top is metal. The actual mascara wand and the um, insert that kind of wipe, like wipes off the excess product, I don't know what that's called, is made out of a biodegradable material, which is so cool. So this is like a completely zero waste mascara and the formula is amazing let me just show you let me just show you how great it is i have pretty naturally long lashes but the tips of them are blonde so they don't look long when they're naked but once i get product on them oh ciao no mascara girl she cute and that's just one coat so um this has officially bumped the ilia 
Limitless Lash out of first place for my affections, even though this one is way more expensive. You get a ton of product, and I'm probably going to use it longer than recommended. It's quite a bit of bang for your buck, and if you're not sure if you're going to like the formula, just get the refill, like the naked glass bottle. It's so beautiful. What? It's incredible. Let me zoom you guys out and talk about what I thought about some of these products. So a couple of these were first impressions. Um, so the Han products that I tried that were recently sent to me. These, the concealer and the lip gloss. I tried the previous products in the old formulation. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty, I think that they reformulated slightly. And I love these. I think that they're just as beautiful as the last formulation. The concealer is quite creamy. I remember it being very lightweight. Um, it does crease a little bit, so you do have to set it. The lip gloss is as incredible as I remember it. I mean, my lips look juicy. I love this. Um, these are both a win. Um, as far as the complexion, the concealer was the only thing that I really used. The Glow Powder from PHB. I don't know what I think of this yet. I think it's okay. It didn't do a great job setting that concealer on my lids, but I do feel like... I mean, it did okay, and I think that it looks pretty in the pan. I want to dip into this more and see how I feel. I don't have my final thoughts yet, but I think this could be a win. The PHB Brow Powder. I think that the shade is not a great match for me, and I'm not really a brow powder girl, I don't think. Um, but I think it's okay. I mean, my brows don't look terrible. They're just not super defined like I like them to be. This was just okay for me. I may try to gift this to somebody. The PHB highlight in Golden Hour. I don't think that the formula is what was amiss. I think the color is what was amiss. I just didn't realize how yellow it would be. What a yellow gold. And I know you're thinking like, Senia, the shade is called Golden Hour. I know. I know. Um, it's not that. <laughs> I, online it just looked much more champagne. So I think that this is not a path. The contour, the blush, those are things that I've loved for a while and I, I think are amazing. Um, the principal, this eyeshadow palette, the cream shade up top blended really beautifully. Really beautifully. And I know that it's kind of hard to, to mess up a cream shade. Um, green is a tricky color. It's a hard color to formulate. Green, blue, and purple are in makeup. And I think that for, I think the shade is really lovely. I just think that the formula is a little hard to blend. Um, but I, st I love a lot of the other colors in here. I mean, that pink is to die for. So I would still recommend this palette. I think that that particular shade is just a little bit difficult, but you can still make it work. So I'm keeping this in my collection, and I love the packaging of it. I hope they come out with more eyeshadow palettes in more colorways. I think that that would be amazing. Mascara, you know how I feel. I love this stuff. I can't recommend this enough. It's amazing. It's incredible. Yeah, I think that is all of the products that I used today. Thank you for tuning in for this impressions video of these products. I hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel if you find this helpful. Um, I love to try products that are sustainable in nature, and I love to be the one to try them, to recommend them to you if that's something that you care about. So um, I hope that you will consider subscribing, and thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'll see you in the next one.